We don't know exactly why they dressed up as Native Americans, but one thing that seems clear is they weren't actually fooling anyone into thinking that it was actual Native Americans who were dumping this tea. They knew it was a disguise. Um, and what some historians have said is that it's a way of asserting American identity. It's a way of saying, we are not British, right? Because we are dressing as something as a type of people who are unique and native to America. Um, and yet, because everyone knew it was a disguise, they're also saying, we are not necessarily actually inhabitants of the frontier. We are something new. We are something that's a hybrid of the two. We are Americans with a kind of frontier spirit um, who still think of ourselves as, as good British subjects in a way, but who are struggling towards a new identity, one that's uniquely American, and who are going to protest unpopular British laws in that way. And so I think that the Native American disguises are in some ways symbolic. I think the other thing that those disguises do is they send a message to everyone who's standing on the docks nearby, which is, you may know who we are, but if prosecutors come and ask you who was throwing the tea overboard, you'd better not tell. Um, and actually, Bostonians keep their secret, and no one knew for sure who had dumped the tea into Boston Harbor. Uh, and part of that is that uh, part of the reason for that is that this action was supposed to represent the action of an entire community and not just a bunch of malcontents.